Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to say in the next. Good one. What? I don't even know what that was. Oh, all the safety items on yes. this one. It's no secret that Whitney and I love to build furniture with inexpensive lumber. Yes, specifically framing lumber that's awesome. However, there are times in certain pieces that we're building that we like to eliminate that rounded edge because you get what looks like that. What do we call this right here? Crumb catchers. And why do we call it that? Because they catch the crumbs. So we have developed a way to rip off those rounded edges, giving us a straight edge board. And that's what we're gonna show you guys today. We're gonna show you how to give a rounded edge framing lumber a straight edge. Not only does it give it a straight edge, but you can also make cheaper pieces of lumber that way too. So we yes. rip our own two by twos out of a two by four, you get two two by twos for the price of three dollars as opposed to one two by two for eight dollars. So you eventually go. this all pays for itself, right? That's what we'll tell them when we ask for it. To get rid of those crumb catchers, we are using our table saw. There's a few tricks on the table saw that are gonna make this super easy for you to do. First of all, you're gonna want to use a push stick. Because we like our fingers. Like to keep our fingers. Push stick is just going to help you push the wood through the blade so that you don't get your fingers anywhere close to the blade. Another helpful thing is going to be your fence. So we're using the fence on this one. A fence is this arm that clamps onto the table saw. It's gonna help adjust the measurement that you wanna cut off of the wood, but it also gives you a straight edge that you can keep your wood up against and it keeps it nice and straight when you're cutting it. So we're gonna demo today, guys, using two by fours. In two by fours, the width of this is three and a half inches. So the very first thing we're going to do, and we do this with any board, two by six, two by fours, whatever we're using, what we're going to do is make our cross cuts first. So let's just say this is gonna be our coffee table leg. So I have already gone and made this cut 18 inches. I've made this on my miter saw, and that way I'm pushing a shorter board through the table saw. It just makes it easier. So we've got this done and now we're gonna rip off that edge. We're gonna cut off one single edge, and how, how wide do you usually do it? I always take a quarter of an inch off of the edge, and it's three and a half inches, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take off a quarter of an inch, but then we also have to allot for the eighth of an inch width of the saw blade. It's a lot of math. It is a lot of math, but it's easy if you do. So I'm gonna push the... She's gonna loosen it first. Fence to three and a half. So if I were to set my saw to three and a half inches, I would also add an eighth of an inch, and you can see it plainest day on the measurement. So I'm gonna go to three and a quarter inches, and then I'm gonna back it another eighth of an inch, give it an extra eighth of an inch. Give it a little pat, and then I'm gonna clamp it in place. All right, we're gonna power up. And I'm gonna run the board through the saw. Power off. There we go. Perfectly smooth three inch, two by four. Crumb catchers, no more. See that guys, an easy solution to take your builds to the next level. It also gives your pieces a little bit more of a modern, more expensive feel too. It doesn't look like you were out in your shop building a piece of furniture with two by fours. There you go, problem solved. All you gotta do is rip the boards with your table saw.